Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Is it raining in your house? Yes. No, teacher. It's raining here by my house. Yeah. It's raining a little, a little hard today. Yes. Good, because it was very hot. Yeah. Okay, let me open this. Let's see where we are. Okay, so yesterday we did say, um, I'm sorry, ask and tell, correct? So let me see. Yes, teacher. Wow, it's raining very hard today. Okay, so it says read the following messages. The numero uno, what is it? Let me see how many, five. Jenny, can you do number one, please? Um, I think oh, you tell Joel the movies is seven. And first? Actually, it's the second because the movie is at seven. Ah, okay. It's at seven. Um, Anna, number two, please. I'm sorry, Anna, can you do number two, please? Okay. Mm. <laughs> Yo hablando, perdón, sorry. No, está bien. Si la miraba, <laughs> la miraba hablar. <laughs> Good. Uh, Good to ask me to, um, to pick up, no, to pick me up at home around four. Exactly. To pick me up. Mm -hmm. All right, Catherine, number three, please. Okay, teacher. Please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Yes. Okay, number four. Good to ask Jean to bring the ticket for the hockey game tonight. Yes, it's to bring. Good. And number five, Jenny again. Okay. Um, would you tell Anne that the mission, mission open at 10 tomorrow morning? 
The second. Okay. Would you tell them that the museum is actually the first one? Because the museum opens. Oh, okay. white t-shirt. Because remember for uh, second, I'm sorry, for third person is S. Yeah. And for it. Mm -hmm. So the museum is an it. Mm -hmm. So the museum opens. Okay. Fisher, and this and this and this question, I I can see and use that too. And for example, this and that number four. Will you ask Jean two, but in the other no have two? Why? Okay, would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game? Yeah. Okay, would you tell, because if you notice, would you ask Jim to bring Bound mm -hmm. There's a verb. Would you but ask if... Jim to go? Would you ask Jim to call? Would you ask Jim to buy? But, pero en la siguiente también está bring. Jim, bring. Where is the difference? That this is not correct. Por eso no está correcta esta, porque es to ah. bring. Okay. That's why this is not correct. Okay, reading exercise. Let's see this. Okay, we have four students. So this is one paragraph, look. Can you please read the first paragraph, Anna? What do you do in a situation like this? You're eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. At a nice You're, restaurant. Okay. You're having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens at the time of- All the time. Um, all the time of um, buses. In restaurants, mm -hmm. everywhere. Okay, very good, thank you. So what do you, do you understand everything here? The, the, the words and everything? Loudly. Loudly, people that speak loud. Yes, teacher, understand. <laughs> Anna doesn't look. Oh, you know. <laughs> yes, teacher, I understand. Yes, loud. Gente que habla fuerte, Anna. Okay, thank you. Loudly. There's always one person in the family that speaks loudly or a friend that speaks loudly. Okay, number the second paragraph, please, Jenny. Okay, so I'm sorry. So these people are, are, imagine you're in a restaurant and the table next to you they're speaking loudly for 10 minutes, talking about problems with his girlfriend. Can you imagine that? Okay, the second paragraph, Jenny. Okay. Many people find cell phone useful in their day-to-day -day life, but we, we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly on cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end to the conversation, but let the, man, the 
the management M management management take care of noisy customers you can only control your own behavior here are a few rules okay do you understand here do you understand every word yes what is loud mouth jenny Loud mouth es, es hablarlo como más, uh, no sé cómo explicarlo. <laughs> Loud mouth es el bocón. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> no quería decir eso. So you want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation, but the management take care of noisy customers. Okay. Uh, Catherine, can you read the next, the next three parts, please? Okay, teacher. The rules, the next three rules. Go, please. Of means of respects the rules of restaurants and other public place. places. 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 If I a thing says turn off cell phone, don't use your phone. Keep private conversation private. Keep Is private. Pre private. No, keep private conversations private. Keep private conversation private. 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 Ok, aquí va un perfecto ejemplo. Ok, uh, Catherine, two syllables. Private. Repeat. Private. Very good. One more time. Two syllables. Private. Private. Ok, very good. Now one syllable. Private. Private. Excellent. So, can you read one more time, please? Keep private conversation private. Excellent. Speak soft, softly. 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 And for a short time, try mm -hmm. to move away from other people. Try to move away from other people. Try to move away from other people. Okay. Um, lights off, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Or at the movies. Pay All right. Attention. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Talking. No, 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 no. I say. No. I say, okay, okay. I'm talk at Karen. <laughs> Um, so, do you understand the vocabulary? Um, it's softly. Softly. Sorry. Um, okay. Okay, Karen, can you do the next part, please? No lo veo todo, teacher. Ahí. Yes. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is danger. And what were you going where when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone? As more people use cell phones, uh, things are only going to, to get, get worse. No, it's They're going to get worse. worse. Going to worse. get worse. Going to get worse. So the next time you're uh, getting ready to make a call, Stop and um, 
Con consider. Well. Consider. Consider the people around you. Okay, class, do you understand all the vocabulary? Okay, let's continue then. Okay. So listen to the conversations, okay? So listen to Wes, to the invitation, to Wes, as he said, I'm a person of Wes, maybe it's Wesley. R listen to Rita, two conversations, okay? So let's see. Check the Can correct information. One. Can you hear? Okay. Hello. Hi, Wes. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, would you like to come to a beach party on Saturday? Amy and Terry are going to be there. Amy and Terry? Great. Uh, what time on Saturday? Well, we want to start around six in the evening. Oh, no. I start work at six. I have a part-time job in a restaurant. Oh, that's too bad, Wes. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for thinking of me. Bye. Bye. Two. Hi, this is Rita. Hey, Rita. This is Charlie. How are things? Not bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Fine. Say, would you like to come to a dance performance this weekend? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. I have to study for a test on Monday morning. Hmm. Are you going to study all weekend? Well, no. I'm going to a basketball game on Saturday night with Lucinda. But I really have to keep some time on the weekend for studying. How about tomorrow evening? The tickets are half price midweek. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Great. We can meet outside the Odeon Theater at about 7.45. Excellent. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay, so Wes' invitation was what? Beach party. A beach party. What was Wes' excuse? He starts work. He starts. He starts work at 6 p.m. What yes. about Rita? Dance performance. Dance performance. And here? She needs to study for a test. Good, they're all correct. Put the word order in the correct sentences. So number here, here number one is what do you Class, what do you? What do you do tonight? Plan to do. Plan to do. Otra vez, Jenny, ahí está el to. ¿Por qué? Porque dos verbos. Plan is a verb. Do is a yeah. verb. So you can't say, what do you okay. plan to do? Yes? Remember, you can never have two verbs together. Yeah. You need to have a preposition, which is two. What do you plan to do tonight? Good. Next, be I... Want to stay? Good. I want to stay home. There's a soccer match on TV. What are you and Dave? Teacher, perdón, en la segunda no sería want to stay. Oh, sí, verdad. Thank okay. you. Pensé que ya estabas. No, no vi que aún estabas stay entre la comida. Okay. Okay, what are you and Dave? Okay, pusieron, what are you and Dave? Got to do. To do. Yes, what are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? Uh, 
So, what is this? There no teacher. This. So it says we like having. We like having a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. What do you have to do? What do you hope to do after graduation? Good. And this, I? Um, I love traveling. Okay, me encantaría, no. el día sería, I would love to. I would love to travel. Oops. Me encantaría viajar en Europa for a while. I would love to travel. What do you hope to do after graduation? Oops, no puse el do. We like to have, but it's... Hmm. Let me see what is I like to have or would like to have. Teacher, ¿qué significa la apóstrofe la de? It's a contraction that I would like. Um, uh, okay, thank you. O es subjetiva porque cualquier respuesta puede haber estado correcta. I would like to have. Okay, circle the correct word, instructions, circle the correct word. There are lots of beautiful trees in this. Forest. In this forest. Forest. What is a forest? Mm -hmm. uh, bosque. <laughs> Number two, a blank is a very hot and dry place. Desert. A desert is a very, very hot and dry place. Good. Number three, a is always higher than a valley. Mountain. Mountain. A mountain. Okay, number one, please. Blank, yeah. Mary, there's a school party on Sunday. Tell or to tell? Tell, good. Would you ask... Oh. What is that noise? Can you still... Okay, I'm sorry. Would you like... I'm sorry, would you ask Bill Blank the concert tickets tonight? To bring. To bring. Good. Ask Bill to bring. Good. Number three, could you blank Dana? The movie starts at 8 15. Tell. Tell. Could you tell? Okay. 
All right, we got all those correct. So let's complete the sentence. Using would, will, I'd, or I'll. I'd is a contraction for I would, correct? Mm -hmm. I'll is a contraction for I will. So what is number one, Anna? Would. What would you like to eat? So what would you like to eat? The fried chicken, please. Good. Number two, Catherine. Um, yeah. no, sorry, no. No sé cómo se pronuncia dicho. Pronounce what? Il. Um, let's say. Il. Il. It's I -L. E apostrophe L L. Ah, uh, I'll. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll have the mashed potatoes, please. Seven kiss mashed potato. Mashed potato. Puré de papa. Mm -hmm. mm. Number three, anything to drink? Yes, please. Cool. I would like, I'd like some water. I'd like es me gustaría. Every time you say I would, va a ser el verbo ia. I'd like some water. I'd like some water. I'd like some water. Number four, anything else? No? No, that will be all. That will be all, good. It's good, teacher. Wood les tiró la plataforma. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Pero los dos son correctos, ¿saben? Ah, ok. Ustedes han dicho en español alguna vez, no, muchas gracias, eso sería todo, o eso será todo. The two are correct. Yes. Next, it says, complete each sentence with the correct form of the adjective. Choose between comparatives or superlative. Which city is? More crowded. More crowded. Is Disney World? The most, the most famous. famous. The most famous, right? Number three, what is blank river in the world? The there longest. Is. Good. Okay, so number one, like he said, the test is on Thursday. I'm sorry, the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell Ken the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Or please tell Ken that the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. What is the correct one? In that the test on the Thursday is at 1 p.m. Meet me after class today. Would you ask Alex? Would you like 
to ask, I'm sorry, would you, would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? After class today. Yes. Number three, there's a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell? Could you tell Marcus that there's a volleyball game tonight? Come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask. Come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask. Paula, come. Paula, come too. No, please ask Paula to come. To come, ah, Paula to come. To come to. What the hell? Meet me after class today. Would you ask Alex to meet me after class today? You seen the well, question it's a, mark. It's a question. Yes, you're right. You pensé que le había puesto the question. Sorry, about that. <laughs> Thank you. It's correct. The Big Island. Okay. So, Veda, can you read? Hold on, how many paragraphs are there? One, two, three, four, five. Hey, one for each. Okay, so, Veda, please read the first paragraph. Okay. <clears throat> the big island. Everyone knows. I'm sorry, the big island. The big island. Everyone knows that Hawaii is a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the big, biggest island in the state? Yes, it's confusing. So much people call the island, the island for Hawaii, the big Iceland. So, did you know that Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state? Okay. Uh, so, Beida, escoja su al número dos. Catherine? Catherine, good. Okay, teacher. Um, the weather on the big island is very interesting. It has 10 of the hatching kinds. 10 of the of, 15 kinds. 10 of the 15 kinds of climate. Cl climate Climates. Climate in the world, including tropical desert, mountain, in Alpine. Sometimes it even gets snow on top of its two biggest volcan volcanoes. Okay, good. So imagine Hawaii has all the all the climates. Catherine, can you pick the next person, please? Jenny. For me, mm -hmm. no, yes, Jenny. Yes, yes, Jenny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm no, sorry. No, no, no problem. Go ahead. Okay. On the west side of the island, the weather 
is sunny. Kai, Kailua Kona is the almost perfect. It is get up to about 85, 80, 80, 80 degrees. Um, I, I know said that F in the winter and the 87 degrees in the summer. Okay, F is, F is Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, okay. It, uh, okay, it's okay. Where well, if get up to about 85, 85, what say? I'm sorry, teacher. Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Okay. Fahrenheit in the winter and the 87 Fahrenheit in the summer. It only goes down to the 64 Fahrenheit in the winter and 69 Fahrenheit in the summer. The Koa Kohala area area in the north is the dry raised part Dries. of the driest part of the island with only about 10 inches of rain a year. All right, good. Okay, can you pick the next paragraph, please, Jenny? Ana Lopez. Ana Lopez. Um. Okay. On this, on the east, uh, east side, Hilo gets around. On the east side, on the east side, Hilo. Hilo gets around 140 in inches of rain per year in the west. City in the United States, all, all that rain makes for some amazing uh, waterfall near Kylo. Okay, good. Do you understand, class? Good. Get on better. Okay. Anna, guess inches. I didn't know. Yeah, yo sé que no yo sé que hay muchas preguntas, pero no saben, pero les he preguntado, ya ni les pregunto muchas veces. Do you understand? Do you understand? Ni me dicen ni sí ni no y no me no me pregunto. Yes. yes. That's the problem. No no me dicen. I don't understand. Or do you have questions? Yes, pero silence, complete silence. <laughs> Okay, and uh, the last one, Karen, the last sentence, please. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice temperat temperatures? Temperatures. Temperature. Water temperatures are cold in February and warm in September or October. There is good. Snorkeling. 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 Great school. Uh, it's school. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. And wonder, wonderful fishes. Fishing. Yeah. Fishing. Yeah. Rum that make the big. Slang, popular white people from all over the world, anything, any time of the year. Okay, thank you. So this is Hawaii. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. It's your colleague, That's teacher? Snorkeling, think that's a sport when you go inside the water with uh, snorkel. I think it's in Spanish that means snorkeling. It's para bucear. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Pero, pero no tan hondo. Nunca han visto gente que está bajo el agua, pero no tan hondo. Porque la escuba es lo que anda en el tanque. Que se meten en el hondo. Esto es snorkeling. Que andan con solo una manguerita, ¿sí? Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Thank you. All right. What is Hawaii? A city, a state, an island, or a state and an island? 
stay in an I island. Stay. It's a state in an island. What climate is not found in Hawaii? Arctic. The Arctic. Y hablando de eso, ustedes saben de que El Salvador no tenemos invierno. Yes. Eso, eso. Y les digo porque nosotros somos unos dramáticos. Si le decimos a una pobre persona que viene de Estados Unidos, mira, eh, ¿cómo está el clima en El Salvador? Porque voy para allá el otro mes. Ah, mira, estamos en invierno. Y, y, imagínense, le dicen a una persona que viene de Canadá, ah, estamos en invierno. ¿Cómo cree que va a venir preparada esa persona? Con abrigos. Yes. Y cuando llegue aquí se va a dar cuenta que no hay invierno, simplemente está lloviendo. No, entonces, eso les quiero decir, El Salvador solo es un clima, es un país tropical. Solo hay dos temporadas, la seca y la mojada. Yes. Yes. Dry seas, yo veo a veces hasta, hasta los noticieros así que dicen, bueno, ya entramos en la temporada de invierno. No, man. No hay invierno en El Salvador. Quisiera, pero no. So remember, invierno es cold. Frío. Aquí en mi casa llovió bien fuerte hace poco y no hizo nada de frío. Yes. Yes. Entonces, si le, le preguntan cómo está el clima de sabor, estamos en temporada de lluvia. Ok. Pues no, es decir, estamos en invierno. <laughs> Aunque lo decimos, pero it's not correct. Entonces, en inglés mucho menos. Imagine, oh, in El Salvador, we are in winter. Después decía, ¿en there is winter in El Salvador? ¿Really? Yes. Ok, so number three. How does it get in Kailua, Kona in the winter? Maybe. No, I think it's 80. 80. 80. Yes. Where does it rain the most? In the yeah. east. In the east. Good. Porque me falta una. Oh, what is Hawaii? Two. No. Está bien, teacher. No, pero ¿por qué no me da la opción de next? Oh, we finish. Yeah, we finish. Yeah, maybe I go like, what? We finished. Okay, so when is the, in El Salvador, when is the hottest? El Salvador is hot the complete year, but there's a specific time that is the hottest when uh, in april but can you please answer complete okay uh <laughs> say again the question please <laughs> yes when is the hottest in el salvador in el salvador is the hottest in the april the hottest is in the April. Hottest, okay. In El Salvador is the hottest in April. No. No. Is the, no, listen, please. When okay. is the hottest in El Salvador? In El Salvador, the hottest is in April. Ah, in El Salvador, the hottest is in April. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, class. When is when is the tra wait let me see when are people the happiest in El Salvador 
the happiest in the southern. In the happiest. <clears throat> There's a time that everybody's happy. Yeah. Um, I don't know if should be that. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. The rest of the class? Um, sorry, teacher. No entendí. <laughs> Primera vez que alguien me dice thank you, gracias por decirme por... I didn't entendí. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Karen, when, is the, when are people the happiest in El Salvador? Um, quiero ver si le entendí la pregunta. Eh, me está preguntando cuántas personas son felices en El Salvador. No. No. Ana, when are people the happiest in El Salvador? Mm. The people are in the happiest in receiving el pago. Okay, in payday. <laughs> payday. Okay, good. Ana, ¿qué le pregunté? ¿Cuánto las personas están felices uh, en El Salvador? No. Están lo más feliz. Come on, uh -huh. kids. Remember, happy, happier, happiest. Okay. It's a superlative. Okay. Yeah. No, but it's very good, Anna. It's very okay. good. Happiest. Cuando, el, cuando es la gente la más, cuando la gente es más feliz en El Salvador. En general, maybe in Christmas, no? Yeah. In yes. Christmas, everybody's happy. Especialmente ahí por el 15, cuando cae el aguinaldo. Uh. <risa> yes. Ok, no, hoy no, quiero, no. tengo dos preguntas. Karen, ¿por qué entendió usted cuánta gente es feliz? ¿Qué entendió usted que era oh. cuánta? Es que me confundí con Gwen. Ajá, ok, good. Catherine, ¿qué fue lo que usted no entendió de la pregunta? Um, Gwen. ¿Qué es went? Eh, no. ¿Qué yes. es went? Yes, eso. No entendí. Happiest Pero no, no, no sé cuando. qué es qué yes. es went. Yo nunca dije went. As, algo así lo escuché. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Eh, es when. Gwen. Ah, ok. No es when. When. Es when. Gwen. Yes. Gwen. Ok. okay. Esto, de verdad, estas son de, what, when, where. It's very, very, very basic. Yes? What, when, where. ¿Qué, cuándo, dónde? Son de las tres más básicas. What, when, where y who. Maybe those are the, los más básicos. Tien, si no saben eso, les va a costar el resto, porque está what, when, where, how much, how many, how often, how far, how long. Uh, pero what, when, where. So, yo siento que están como, y esto es normal, porque gente captan las palabras que oyeron y las hacen, ah, me preguntó esto. <ríe> Entendí por qué Karen pensó de que cuánta gente está feliz. Porque ella entendió la palabra happiest, entendió la palabra people y asumió que ah, me está preguntando cuánta gente. Pero imagínense cómo una palabra puede hacer una diferencia total en la pregunta. ¿Ya? ¿Yes? Bien. Yes. Y dije la pregunta, ¿se acuerdan cuando les dije de que hay tres cosas que tenemos que nivelar ustedes en inglés? Su gramática, su comprensión, que es esta, y su fluidez. Su fluidez creo que todos la tienen muy bien. Porque hablan rápido. O oh, no hablan pausados. It's good. Pero creo que repetí esta pregunta unas siete veces. Y bien, how many people. No, 
¿Qué fue que pregunté? When. Bueno, when, when. 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 When ah. are people the happiest in El Salvador? When are people... Okay, that's comprehension. Y eso hay que mejorar. Yes, when are people the happiest in El Salvador? Y me dice alguien le va a preguntar, así en general, vamos a ver a Ana. Oh, Ana, you're from El Salvador, that's good. So tell me, when are the people the happiest in El Salvador? Así habla la gente. <laughs> What? Excuse me. Muy rápido. No, pero saben que usted, usted, si un día en vez de decir, I'm sorry, no entiendo, please speak slower. Oh, please, I, I don't understand. Y la gente le va a hablar, ok. When are people the happiest in El Salvador? Yes. Pero ahí, ahí prácticamente fue una, una pregunta con palabras. O, o un tiempo bien básico. Imagínense, alguien le pregunta en inglés, ¿qué hubiera hecho si no lo hubiera ido a traer ese día cuando agarró fuego el edificio? <laughs> en inglés, imagine that. What would you have done if somebody hadn't picked you up the day the building caught fire? So, what? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué? <laughs> Yes. So please practice your comprehension. Y otra ¿Sí? cosa, nadie me ha hecho preguntas y yo estoy bien seguro y les puedo apostar que las dos lecturas que hemos hecho hoy, sé que quizás entendieron un 30 a 40 por ciento. Lo oí en la forma que leían, pero no les quiero seguir haciendo preguntas si entendieron o no, porque tampoco las quiero hacer sentir, porque a veces... Uno se, se, se molesta, pues. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Pero tienen que preguntar o parar ahí mismo, justo ahí. Teacher, ¿qué es eso? No entendí. What is that? Hey, good. Ok. Por ejemplo, aquí, solo, vamos a ver, solo en esta lectura, vamos a ver. The Big Island. Everyone knows Hawaii's a beautiful group of islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. ¿Qué es the middle of the Pacific Ocean? En como el, en la mitad del Océano Pacífico. Pacífico. En medio de. Medio. Middle es medio. En, me, <laughs> en medio. No medio. En medio. Okay. En medio. Sí, no vayan a hacer media, deme media porción, no vayan a decir, give me a, a middle, middle piece, no, en medio. Ok, uh, Hawaii is both the name of the state and the name of the biggest island in the state, la mujer. Pero, creo que más que todo, la, las últimas dos fueron las más complicadas de... Bueno, por ejemplo, aquí me gustó que me preguntó, preguntó Jenny, que no sabía que era F, F es fair, Uy, espera. F es Fahrenheit. Ok, look, it says, on the west side of the island, what is west? Norte, sur, este, oeste, este. <laughs> yes, on the west side of the island, The weather is sunny. What is sunny? Catherine? Sunny is sol Sorry. Yeah. Good. Kailua Kona. What is Kailua Kona? Anna? It's a name. Note que lleva mayúscula. Oh, it's a name. El nombre de, de un lugar. It's the name of an island. ¿Por qué lo dice aquí? On the west side of the island. The weather is sunny. Ka Kailua Kona is almost perfect. It gets up to 80, 80 Fahrenheit in the winter and 87 in the summer. It only goes down to 64 Fahrenheit in the winter and 69 in the summer. The Koala area is in the north. Okay, what is the driest? 
let me see. Um, Karen, what is the driest? I don't know, teacher. Okay, thank you. Catherine, what is the driest? Dry it. Como parte norte? No. Ana? No, 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 thank you, Catherine. Anna, what is the driest? I don't know. Okay, good. Pero no me preguntaron. Como seco? Okay, hay que entender una cosa. ¿En qué termina? En est. Entonces, de entrada, sabemos Más que es, es un superlativo, ¿verdad? Superlativo, yes. Yeah. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el adjetivo? Más. Dry. Dry. El, el adjetivo es dry. Dry. So, oh, está dry. wet and it's dry. San Miguel is hot and dry. Yeah. Sonsonate is hot and dry. Okay, what is wet? Okay, dry is the contrary. Yes. So, Karen, what is driest? Um... Muy seco. Superlative. Dry, drier, driest. What is driest? What is a superlative? Demasiado seco. No. Catherine? What Demasi is dry? No. Sequísimo. Okay. Lugar más seco? Como más seco? Reseco. <laughs> ¿Se acuerdan? El superlativo es el más o lo más. That's it. El más seco. Lo más seco. No sequísimo, secadísimo. No. ¿Se acuerdan superlatives? Creo que lo vimos esta semana. Big. Yeah. What is biggest? ¿Qué es biggest? Muy grande. No es muy grande. Oh, man. No lo, más, lo más grande. Yes. Uh, what is smallest? Lo más pequeño. Oh, el más pequeño. Depende, yes. Okay. Uh, remember in the class, who is the oldest? ¿Qué pregunté? Más viejo. ¿Quién es ¿Quién el más, es más viejo? viejo? O pregunté, ¿quién es viejísimo? No. ¿Quién es viejazo? No. ¿Quién es viejo? No. Eso es la regla del superlative. Uh -huh. Est es el más, lo más o la más. Es lo feo de español, imagínense. Eh, los nombres tienen sexo. Uh. Uh -huh. La más o el más o lo más. En inglés es solo the o est. Who is the oldest? Imagínense dar una clase de español. Ok, eh, como aquí solo somos mujeres, vamos a aprender superlativos y les voy a enseñar quién es la más joven. Pero si fueran todos hombres, sería quién es el más joven. Y ahí me preguntar a teacher, ¿por qué, por qué eh, mujer la y hombres la, el? Y tú, y porque el español es feo. <ríe> ¿No es? Ajá, eso, eso es lo que tiene que decir un profesor. Porque el español tiene sexo, los, los nombres, los, los, ¿cómo se llama? Objetos o personas. Y en inglés no. Por eso es que a veces pueden ir a una persona que no habla español, un gringo, digamos. Por eso ellos confunden mucho los o oh, el mar o la mar o lo mar. 
El agua o la agua. ¿Por qué? Y yo ni, ni yo sé por qué es el agua o la agua. Como saben que decir la calor creo que es correcto. Formal. Sí. Yes. Pero. Regresando al tema es biggest. O sea. Está la palabra. El comparative es compare. And the superlative is general. O, o sea, por ejemplo, está grande, más grande y el más grande. Grandísimo, grandotote, granducho. Eso ya son modismos del idioma. Pero no son superlativos. Porque no puedo decir quién es el grandísimo de la clase, quién es el granducho de la clase. No, no se dice así, se dice el más grande. Oh, ok. So, entonces aquí, si no saben, si no entendían mucho esta palabra, driest, aquí hubieran empezado, hey, pero terminan est, ¿no? superlativo, entonces debe ser driest, dry, dry, ¿qué es dry? Y, y ahí van, van como shh, pensando, hmm, dry, dry, dry cleaning, Eh, hey, los que tenemos secador, ¿quién, ¿quién tiene secadora? ¿Por hair? No, de ropa. ¿No? No t-shirt. No t-shirt. Oh. Okay. Yo tengo, bueno, pero me la regaló mi mamá, conste. <risa> <risa> pero ahí dice, eh, ahí en los ciclos, también la lavadora creo que los tiene. Dice dry. Yeah. Dry. Entonces es seco. Uh -huh. So, lo que les recomiendo, está bien que no entiendan. It's okay, good. Lo que sí está mal es que no preguntan. That's not good. Tienen que preguntar. Y yo personalmente... No me gusta dar un tema diario. Para mí un tema como comparativo o superlativo se tendría que haber dado en una semana. Y ahí sí les doy el beneficio de la duda a ustedes porque hoy vamos a ver esto. Hoy aquello, hoy aquello. Mucha información. No estoy muy de acuerdo en eso. Yo prefiero ir paso a paso. Y o sea, o, o, o haber practicado más comparativos y superlativos, pero como hoy terminamos todo, mañana vamos a tener un día libre. O sea, vamos a tener clases, sí, pero <risa> vamos a tener como un día en general. Entonces, mañana nos amplía los, ese tema, Tita. Exacto. Eso es lo que quiero hacer con ustedes. Todos los temas que vino, los que son fáciles, pum, next. Los que nos costaron más, pum, que okay, hagámoslo mañana. All right. Perfecto. Ok, entonces sí, vuelvo y repito. No, no, yo entiendo, porque también yo he estado acostumbrado a, cuando doy un tema, le damos bastante énfasis al tema y antes de pasar a otro, antes de pasar al otro, porque todo es progresivo. Se va poniendo más difícil la cosa. Pero... Está bien, y, y a veces, uy, a uno lo aprendió bien rápido, es como que si le enseñe el primer día, ok, vaya, meter primera, segunda, tercera, cuarta, quinta, aprendiste, sí, ok, good. El siguiente día ya le estoy enseñando mecánica. <ríe> si le estoy enseñando a manejar. O Según un día le enseño a manejar, el otro mecánica, el otro pintura. Eh, no, necesitan, necesitan práctica en, en manejar. Entonces, está bien si les cuesta, no problem, pero... Está mal si no preguntan. Ok. So, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.